Hey viewers, welcome back to my channel. Myself Shwaprasad Gurram. I am a software engineer at APM Systems. In this lecture, we are going to solve a problem. The difficulty level is easy, and this is lecture one in HashMap series. And I highly request you to please be consistent and solve the problems regularly whenever I upload any lecture. And I believe that at the end of this series, you will be in a position to solve the problems which are related to HashMap data structure. Without further delay, let's get into today's lecture. In this video, we are going to solve a problem called count pairs with a given sum, and the difficulty of this problem is easy. Let's try to understand the problem statement. We will be given one integer array, and which is going to hold only positive numbers. Along with that, we will be given one k value, six here. We need to find the number of pairs which satisfies the k in the array. Let's try to understand it. We have one five seven one here. One plus five is six, which satisfies the k. That means the count is of one. Again, five plus one, again it's six. It satisfies one more condition. Then the count is going to be two. So we need to return the output as two. That's all the problem statement. Let's go to the diagram to understand in much better way. If my uh, input is of something this one 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 one, here you can see my k is of two. The number of pairs which satisfies the two is going to be six. Let's try to understand how it is. For this one, it is going to pair with this. It is going to pair with this. It is going to pair with this. Right? So three. For this one, it is going to pair with this. It is going to pair with this. Then two plus. For this, it is going to pair with only this one. For this, there are no other elements to pair. So here you can see it returned me as a six. That's all for the problem statement. Okay, let's try to understand how we can solve this uh, particular problem. This problem can be solved in uh, different different ways. Okay. The first navy approach can be using two loops. Using two loops. Let me explain how we can solve that using two loops. If my input of size is elements are something like this one five seven one, then I am going to have two loops. One starts from here i, and again other one starts from j, which is nothing but i plus one. And my k is of six, and I will check if my Arr of i, arr of i, plus arr of j is equal to is equals to k. This is the condition, right? So one one plus five is six. Yes, my count is going to be one. Initially count is nothing but zero. Then it is going to be one because I found a pair. Then immediately I will terminate the loop here, the inner loop. Then I will increment the i by one position. That means here. Then j will be here. I am having five. Then I will check whether I have one in this uh, subarray. Yes, there is a one here, right? So five plus one is six. Then I am going to increment this by two. Then I will increment my i by here, and my j is going to be here. And I have seven and one, so that is not going to contribute in any way. That's it. So I can uh, terminate this loop. So I travel till uh, length minus one. For i and uh, less than length is for j. That's all. So, what are the time and space complexities with this approach? The time complexity is going to be big of n square because you are going to uh, have the two loops. The space complexity is going to be big of one because you are not going to uh, take any additional data structure or else any additional array to process the input. Is there any way where we can reduce the time complexity? Let's try to see the problem statement once more. Here it is. I am. Yeah. If you look at the problem statement, here it is from gigs for gigs. So it is saying like the expected time complexity is of big of n, and the space complexity is also big of n. We need to satisfy these constraints also. If you go with this approach, we are violating the time complexity constraint, right? Let's try to see whether we can solve this in much optimized way. 
the second approach is leverage the hash map what i mean by that initially i am going to hold a one hash map okay and if my input of 1571 okay then what i am going to do here is i start from first element and my k is of 6 right and here my first element is 1 in order to form 6 i need a 5 so i will look at the hash map do i have 5 no that means i cannot pair right then I'm going to insert this one into the hash map saying one comma one where one is the occurrence occurrence then I will come to the five here you can observe in order to make six I need one do I have one yes as soon as I found one then I'm going to initially my count is something zero then count is going to be zero plus this value occurrence of one how many times one occurred so one that is nothing but one then i will insert my five into the hash map and five comma one then i will check seven in order to form seven like we cannot form the pair right because this is greater than my k and my array is going to hold only positive integers that means I, it cannot contribute in any way then i will come to here in order to get six i need a five do i have five yes how many times five occurs only one time then count is going to be 1 plus 1 that is nothing but 2 and here you can see 1 1 is already occurred right then occurrence of 1 is going to be now 2 okay that's all for this problem explanation okay let's try to uh, before that let's try to understand the time and space complexities the time complexity is going to be big of n the space complexity also going to be big of n because you are going to take the hash map to solve this problem Let's try to understand the same for different input set. 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1. Okay. Initially my hash map is empty. And I am at here. And my k is of what 2. My k is of what 2. In order to uh, get a 2, I need 1. Do I have 1 in my hash map? No. Then I am going to insert 1 comma 1. As I said, this is occurrence. Then I will come here. 1. In order to form sum 2, I need 1. Do I have 1? Yes. Then my count is, is going to be occurrence of 1. Right. So 0 plus 1, that is nothing but 1. 0 is the initial value of the counter. Then I am going to increment my counter by 2. Then I will come here and I will check if my uh, 1, I mean in order to make the sum 2, do I have 1 in the hash map? Yes, I do have. But how many times it occurred? 2 times. That means from this element i can make two pairs right so the count is going to be one plus two that is nothing but three then one is going to be three then i will come here one do i have one i mean in order to make the sum two i need one so do i have one in the hash map yes but how many times it occurs three times that means three plus three is nothing but six and i'm reached the end of the array then it is going to be four so you can see here i got the desired output that's all for the problem statement Let's go and write the code for the same. Map. Let me minimize this one. Map integer comma integer map is equals to new hash map. And initially counter is going to be zero. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to iterate through the elements for i equals 0, i less than n where n is the size of the array and i plus plus. Then what I am going to do here is so I am going to take some value val is equals to k minus arr of i. Okay. So in order to make a pair, okay, I need a value right for this kth element. Then I will check if map dot contains a key of val if it has then i'm going to increment my counter counter by the what occurrence of that element so that is nothing but map dot get of val okay this is done otherwise i'm going to insert the same element into the map but i'm going to increment its occurrence right whether it exists or it's not i'm going to increment its occurrence that is nothing but I'm going to take arr of i comma map dot get 
or default if the current element is not found in the map then it is going to return me the zero otherwise it is going to return the occurrence of that element and whatever it returns i am going to append one to it and at the end just return your count that's all just to give a try yeah let's submit it got submitted that's all for this video and i hope you learned something new today don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to tap the bell icon i will meet you in the next lecture